Welcome to day four of our RV10 build. We are continuing work on the vertical stabilizer. So now that we have match drilled all of the holes in the skin and the skeleton, uh, and we've also deburred all of them, we are going to be dimpling all of the different holes for the rivets, except for a couple, which are what we just finished marking there on the skins to make sure that they did not get dimpled. And so we are setting up the pneumatic squeezer here to use for the ones along the edges. I mean, we could have used the DRDT2 for all of them, but I, I personally really like using the pneumatic squeezer. I think it's really easy, especially like right there where you have it um, the, with the edge of the skin hanging over the end of the table. It's just really easy access and easy to use, and then you're not having to try to maneuver the skin around. Um, but for some of them, obviously, you can't reach it with the pneumatic squeezer, and that's where that DRDT2 comes in super handy. Uh, I think it was really nice, too, that we did have two of us working on it instead of just one. I know it would have been possible, and I know we've seen the designs out there where you can make a little um, small table to, to sit there around the DRDT2 to help support the skin. But, it, you know, it was just kind of nice to have it something that we got to work on together and uh, it was pretty easy. One person does the dimpling and the other person there maneuvering the skin, so it worked out. Um, but not everything can be done necessarily together, so like right here we have all the different ribs for uh, the vertical stabilizer there, and so there we just kind of take turns where you know one of us would do some dimpling for a while and then the next person went and did it while we got all caught up in all the different directions, so. Um, it works out, we're, you know, this was day four, so we were still figuring out kind of how to do everything together. So while Ty's getting the DRDT2, they're still set up. Um, I'm getting part of the rear spar there put back together because we have to do some countersinking. And uh, that was part of the prep for the riveting. And here, um, there's a couple holes that you cannot reach with the pneumatic squeezer or with the DRDT2 just because of how tight fit it was there in the fold in the skin. And we did not have our um, pop dimple die yet. It was back ordered. Uh, at Cleveland Tool when we got our set. So uh, we were able to use the, uh, I think they call it their tight fit dimpling tool uh, that we screwed into a long two by four and uh, stuck out from the end of the table so that that way it could reach into where the, uh, that little tight space was there in the skin. And we were able to then hammer out the dimple in it uh, to make do. But fortunately, we've since gotten that uh, pop dimple die from Cleveland. It came in. So next time we have something like that, we'll be able to try out that new tool. So I'm curious and would love to know, uh, those of you who watch my videos, how many of you are currently building a plane or have already built one? I'd love to get some input or feedback or advice or suggestions that y'all might have because so far we've gotten some pretty great ones from the folks over here we've been talking to and so leave me a comment below if you have any tips or suggestions or just let me know what you're working on. So this is where it's all about to get really, really exciting. We are about to put our first rivets into our actual plane. No more kits, no more testing the real deal. And so I'm gonna switch over to some videos that we took of each other doing it to show you just how excited we were and how much fun it was and how it all came together. First rivet on the plane. Come closer so you can actually this is a very special little rivet that's going in here. OMG, we're about to do this. Ah! <laughs> All right. It's probably going to need another squeeze. It might need to be tightened, but oh my gosh, it's in there, so it needs a little bit of work, but yay! <laughs> right. Can you see it okay? Yep, go for it. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Alright, this is Tyler's first rivet he's putting into our plane. 
attaching the rudder stops. So in case y'all couldn't tell, we were pretty excited about finally getting to put some rivets there in the plane. And you know, each little milestone that you hit just is pretty exciting as you, you take a new step, use a new tool, do something new that you haven't actually done before. And, uh, and so it, was, it just was a really great feeling. It was really cool and exciting and you know, really feeling like it was coming together. And so you know, now we put together the, that rear spar assembly and had it all clico together to start doing more rivets and getting the rest of that get that put together and you know it, it was the whole night was just really exciting it was really fun to just see everything coming together and really feel like it was you know this was our plane this is our plane like actually now coming together and being built it's not just stuff we're seeing on a piece of paper so um every, every little bit's exciting i love it I hope y'all have been enjoying my videos. If you have, please consider going down below and hitting the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear any of your comments, and I'll have a new video out shortly.